another traitor. Or a wayward child in need of suckling. Tell me, who dares? Who dares disturb the one true king's solitude? Speak, or lose your tongue. much from traitors' tongues. Filthy lies! Be warned that I suffer no fools. If you wish to live, prove your loyalty by slaying the duplicitous Lester goddess Numue. Or raise your pathetic hand against me and your mortal suffering ends here and now. Which will it be? Numue, the Lady of the Lake, confidant turned traitor. Even now, she is bound by her treachery and my shackles. Find her in her secluded prison tower. Kill her, traveler. And make certain that it is neither quick nor painless. Make her writhe in pain! Do that, and I shall reward you. Pain or refuse, and you shall be the one writhing in pain. My patience wears thin, mortal. Yet, I am curious. What simple ponderings preoccupy rotten beasts such as yourself? I shall allow it. You duplicitous mortal, you know more than you let on. Numue betrayed me. Betrayed the one true king. Colluded with filthy apostates to place me in an unending slumber. Insufferable sorceress! For a god, a king to be rendered as powerless as a child. It was humiliating. Insidious. I have brought justice to the savages she colluded with. She was spared that she may repent and feel the weight of her shame. Now, it is time she met the same fate. Ask one more question, and one alone. Choose wisely and swiftly. That is not a question. Do not try your luck, mortal. The scribe, I can scarcely recall the rat's measly existence. But if he yet lives, it shall not be for long. None shall escape their due retribution, even the most inconsequential of rodents. You would do well to remember that. Numue, the Lady of the Lake. Even now, she is bound by her treachery. And find her in her secluded prison tower. Kill her, traveler. And make certain that it is neither quick nor painless. Make her writhe in pain! Do that, and I shall reward you. Pain or refuse, and you shall be the one writhing in pain. The 
the Fae, my Fae, are fallen creatures requiring an iron rule to prosper. Savages prone to base hungers, yet with such beauty and potential within, they, they are traitors! Traitorous infidels at their very core! Meat for my skewers, the lot of them! Such are the pain. The Dram are unfamiliar to even me, the god and one true king of this realm. Yet they are loyal and obedient as lower creatures ought to be. They did not exist in the world before I was betrayed into a dreamless sleep, but eagerly awaited my rule upon my awakening. A replacement and punishment for the treacherous fate, perhaps. Take note, Traveler, for in a world of savagery, the choice at hand is a bent knee or a broken neck. Insect thinks it stands a chance. How amusing. Know that you are little more than a pest, flittering about at the feet of a goddess. That is why I shall deign to temporarily grant you the power to do my bidding. To that end, take this. Your orders are clear. Do I have spoken? Take your leave, now! The strange one returns, and yet... Something has changed within your heart. I can tell by the look upon your face, and the pained aura that surrounds you. You have met the king. No, do not attempt to deny it. I see all. So the hour of reckoning has come at last. Very well. The Mad King wishes you to kill me out of vengeance for my part in the betrayal that cursed his mind. As for myself, I wish to be spared, that I might one day remedy the ills that I unwittingly unleashed upon this world. And also for the king to be put out of his misery. Because I am the only one who might set things right. And I am close. So close. I simply need more precious time. Yet I know how you mortals operate. Rest assured that a handsome reward awaits you in the wake of such mercy. Like this derelict lighthouse of the Dram. There was once a beacon of hope. The guide of the Fae ever on. Yet that light need not stay dampened. And you light the way. Have you the courage to set right what the gods themselves have set asunder? Decide, strange one. Duty or hope? Sweet mercy. And from a mortal to a goddess, no less. It shall not be forgotten nor taken for granted. I thank you, strange traveler. As promised, a reward befitting your deed. Take it, along with my eternal gratitude. I trust that I shall see you once more after your efforts have come to fruition. And the mad king has been laid to eternal rest. All within this realm are counting on you for our freedom. The most divine gift of all. There is not a moment to waste. Until we meet again.
Fare thee well. Is your task complete? Or your life forfeit? A choice has been made. A fate seen. Tell me. And pray that your words are sufficient to save your insignificant life. You dared return after betraying your king? Vile, despicable mortal! I have given my life to this wretched world. It's at every turn a betrayal! Rats in every wall! Traitors multiplying like insects! It shall not be tolerated! Death to traitors! Make your peace, filthy mortal! Come! I shall not sully my throne with your unworthy blood! in my reign of blood, a lost whisper in the echo of eternity. Return to the nothingness from whence you came! Did I not get it?
change one returns. What is changed somehow? Yes, I sense the stains of blood that can never fully wash away. The price of heroics that shall live on long after your mortal death. You are no ordinary creature. That much is certain. I know none aside from myself capable of slaying a god. Life is nothing if not curious. I dare say you have no need of that blood-soaked trinket any longer. I shall now bestow your true reward. A boon for your noble efforts in killing the Mad King. Take this, along with my eternal gratitude. Fare thee well, indomitable traveler. <laughs>